Be quiet. Um, I did want to share with y'all a text message that I got this weekend. Y'all ready? In fact, I got it last night about 11 o'clock. God, go figure. And the text message says, I'm not going to say what class it come from. You ready? Do you average test or accept the highest from the lowest grade? Okay, first of all, there's two things wrong with this question. One thing is, you know, if you're taking the test, the question is on there, do I take the lowest grade or do I average the grades? Remember? Okay. The second thing that's wrong with this question is it makes no sense. Do you average test or accept highest from the lowest grade? I don't understand what he's talking about. It's a he, of course, because they don't listen. Sorry, I'm a guy. I can say that. Y'all don't. Do you average test or accept the highest from the lowest grade? If y'all can make sense of that, let me know. Huh? Okay, what is he talking about? He's asking, do you take the average or do you take, like, out of the attempts, the highest one? Oh, Okay. <laughs> okay, that just reinstates the question in the bonus. Okay. The bonus question says what? How does Hubert count his unit test? It says I take the highest of the what? Attempts or something like that. Does it not? Okay. I just wondered, maybe he didn't get that question. They're on every single test. I'm just going to, I didn't reply, of course, because I, I don't reply to DA questions. And that was a DA question, especially when you've already taken the test. I don't know why you would ask that before the test. Why would you ask it before you took the test? Exactly who I thought it was. What? We thought it was Will, the one that sits right here. No, it wasn't him. Uh, actually, it's not in this class. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I couldn't be mean to him though. He he seems like a nice guy. Wait, so you're no. <laughs> he's not a nice guy. He's a good guy, but he's just like I'm surprised he hasn't gotten on the yet. Nah. If 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 somebody is, I can tell if somebody is. I can usually tell when somebody is trying, and it seems like to me he's trying. <laughs> he's just behind the eight ball sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. All right, so this is these uh, you need to write down on this test, on this next test, unit two test, four one and four two is probably twenty percent of your test. Write that down. Four one and four two is probably about twenty percent of your test. Now we're gonna pull in some algebra. <clears throat> and that algebra is gonna be graphing, so you shouldn't very, very little, but you're gonna pull in some of it. Don't you just love how fluoride mixes with citric acid and causes a chemical reaction in your mouth? Oh, yes, toothpaste. Duh. Okay, hold on. Fluoride, you know. Yeah, but I filter mine so many times, I don't even think. I got zero water. And that does work. I'm going to tell you something. The zero water to commercial... That is that is true. I've got I had a Brita and I had and I bought a zero water because of that commercial. And I took the little do jigger and I tested the water and I tested my water, which was like filth water, and then I tested the Brita water and it was better but it wasn't and then I tested zero water. Zero water works. I've been using it ever since. I've been using it for about I don't know, a year and a half. So it does work. Oh me. Anyway. So 4.1 and 4.2 is going to be like 20% of your test. These are going to be like easy, squeezy questions. They're going to be like <clears throat> no math involved unless I asked you a slope. Okay? So what does this talk about? It talks about correlation and causation. Now, how many of you have had probability before? Okay, I see three hands and one this. 
Okay, all right. So some of you have no idea what I'm talking about causality. I drink too much wine, I have to pee. Comes from the Matrix, second Matrix, you know the Matrix movies. The guy in the restaurant, the French restaurant, has a French accent. I drink too much wine, I have to pee. Everything is cause and effect. That's causality. Cause and what? Effect. You drink too much, you have to pee. You drink too much, you don't make it to the Supreme Court. Okay? Some of y'all have no idea what I'm talking about, but anyway. Yep. I was in a person in touch years ago by somebody at a hospital. They slapped me on my butt. Still trying to find that person. Don't know when it happened. Don't know what time it happened. Don't know where it happened. It happened at a hospital, though. Anyway, you know, the doctor slapping you on your butt. It's a joke. Ha, ha, ha. Some of y'all act like y'all pit on a bull. Y'all ever, ever seen Patrick with the orb of confusion? Uh, That's what y'all look like. Uh, Come on, put some expression on your face, okay? Drink a Mountain Dew before class. Good God. All right, now, chapter four, describing the relationship between two variables, X and Y. What is causality? Anybody want to, I said cause and effect, but what does that mean? All right, Mountain Dew, no more yawning. That's one, two more, I'll throw you out. What's cause and effect? Oh my God, Annabelle's here. Cause and effect is something causes the other. Let's say you love to watch TV or love to play video games. And you sit and you play video games eight hours a day. Kind of like the kid on the commercial that puts the dog on the treadmill. Have you ever seen that commercial? You say it. Okay. Okay, the rest of y'all are not normal. You know, <laughs> anyway, there's, there's about a kid. He's laying on the couch and he's supposed to be walking the dog. And instead of walking the dog, he's watching TV and he puts the dog on the treadmill. A little JR running on the treadmill. Anyway, if you lay on the couch for eight to ten hours a day, you, sl you sleep, I mean, you play video games for eight to ten hours a day, which you claim you have ADD, but you can sit in front of the TV for eight, ten hours a day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, you can do that, but you complain about being fat. Is there a cause and effect there? Mm -hmm. Why? The less active you are, the less calories you burn. Cause and effect. How about the car that you drive? Does it have a great? Does it have cause and effect? Yes. A well, heavier the car. The most, I don't know how to say that. The higher gas mileage? The, the more your gas mileage is going to suck. Yeah. Yeah. The heavier Amen. the car, the more your gas mileage is going to suck. I get the redneck Cadillac gets 22 miles to the gallon on the interstate. All right? But if I put a trailer behind it, it drops down to 16, cause and effect, and we'll wait. Now, let's say that I go to Amstar Theaters. And I want to know, I haven't been in a movie theater since the Megalodon because nothing's been in a movie theater because I get on fire stick and I see if it sucks or not. But I haven't been to the Amstar since the Meg. So let's see, the last movie that I saw on fire stick was the, the oh gosh, I think I've watched so many movies I can't remember. But anyway. Oh well. Name a movie. Name a movie in the movie theater right now. What? The Nun. The Nun. There you go. That's the movie I saw. I'm sorry. No, I saw The Nun after the Yeah, that's right. Okay. The Nun. So let's. Well, I don't know any actors in The Nun. So let me just go to a Nicolas Cage movie because he sucks. All right, Nicolas Cage. All right. He's weird. Okay. He's weird. But anyway, did you know that his cousin? <laughs> his cousin, he's got another actor, it was an actress's cousin, and I can't remember her name, but anyway, I want to say it's, 
I want to say it's a, what's her name on Rocky? Um, Adrian. Okay, y'all. Uh, let me guess. Y'all haven't seen Rocky movies. Right? Oh, see none of them, right? See, see. There's 15 Rocky movies, and none of y'all have seen them. Y'all suck. Y'all know that. One of the greatest movies ever, Rocky One and Rocky Two, and none of you have seen it. Have y'all ever seen Animal House, Caddyshack? You know. Caddyshack is weird. I don't know why older people like that movie. It's a classic movie. You have to sit and watch it. Huh? It's not weird. It's about crazy people playing golf. Yeah, exactly. And then Bill, whatever his last name is. Bill Murray runs around going. Yes, because he just runs around the whole time doing like chasing a gopher. Like what? It's what happens when you make a movie after the drug era. <laughs> you know, all the make love, not war, happy hippies, you know, tree huggers. Yeah. You, you end up making a movie that's totally senseless. But anyway, y'all need to watch more movies because some of y'all neglect that. I can't believe some of y'all have never seen Rocky 1 and Rocky 2. Isn't there like a new version of like... Yeah, Creed 2. Mm-hmm. It's coming out. Really? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Nicholas Cage. Nicholas Cage... Anyway, in a movie, I go to Amstar and I say, I want to know the ticket sales for Nicolas Cage's last movie, blah, 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 and I chart it. Okay, everybody see that? Everybody understand that? Yeah. And then I go out to Amed and I say, I want to know how many people have died from suicide in the last week. And that's what I did with Nicolas Cage movies. And then I chart it, and both of them show a positive slope. So that means if you go see a Nicolas Cage movie, that you're what? You're going to commit suicide. It's not funny It's funny. Yeah, it's supposed to be funny. All right? It's called Sense of Humor. Oh, I'm offended. My cousin's aunt's brother died. Shut up. All right? I'm making a point. Anyway, if you watch a Nicolas Cage movie, you're going to commit suicide. No. There's no correlation there. Why? Because one doesn't have anything to do with what? Yeah. Okay, there's no causality. Is there correlation? Yes. Write this down. Correlation does not mean what? Causation. causation. Exactly. Somebody's heard that before. I think you said it. I have. Okay. Same thing with the yeah, but, but most people say causality. They don't say causation. Okay? So, you've got to determine whether something, one, has correlation, and then is there causality. All right? For instance, if I have a pasture that I put a lot of fertilizer on, and then the pasture beside that pasture has, has some trees on it, and those trees suddenly start growing, okay? Is there causality there? Yes. The more fertilizer that I put on this pasture, what happens when it rains? It runs off on the other pasture, and that's why the trees are growing. That's causality. Okay, correlation, causality. I've got correlation because I'm putting fertilizer on this pasture and the trees are growing. There's two correlations. Now, does one cause the other? Yes. And that's why I started class by saying I'm drinking too much. I have to pee. All right, because that's causality. All right, so let's talk about it because now, now that I've given you some kind of idea of where we're going with it, now let's go to it. And I'm not, I just went over all that. Okay, scatter diagram. We're going to talk about a scatter plot. That's when you plot points. We talked about plotting points on the Nicolas Cage movie. We're going to get to that. And there's some points, X and Y. And the reason I'm going fast here is because I really think most of y'all have had pre-algebra and algebra 1. And I think all of you know that when you have a bunch of X coordinates and a bunch of Y coordinates, if you plot them, that makes a scatter plot. I think most of y'all know that. And there's your scatter plot. All right. Now... <coughs> We're going to get on Excel here in just a minute, and I'm going to show you the easy way to do this, all right? Can you do it on your calculator? Yes. Does it take twice as long? Yes, than the Excel. Why? Because you have to punch in all the points. And if I give you, I don't know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. If I give you 14 or 15 points, it's going to take the person on the calculator about another so-and-so amount of time to do it because they have to plot put in those points 
where if you're doing a homework problem or a test problem, you just have to hit the little icon and it sends it to the Excel spreadsheet. Now, there's only several things, there's only two or three things that you can do with the Excel spreadsheet. So it's not like you have to learn the Excel spreadsheet. You just got to learn two or three things, okay? So I'm going to show you those two or three things where before I just used it as presentation. I'm going to show you how to use the Excel spreadsheet on these things because, you know, it's just two or three things, all right? So this is drilling time versus depth. And how much time does it take to drill, whether you're drilling for OIL or whether you're drilling for water, whatever? How much time does it take to the depth? And that has a correlation and causality. Because the more depth there is, the more chances of hitting what? More obstacles like rock or a different, different whatever you call it, shell, surface, whatever, things in geology, you know. So that's why it only takes, you know, 25 feet or 50 feet, it only takes six minutes, six hours, whatever, versus 200 feet, which takes, you know, eight hours. Or what? I thought you unlocked it. You don't know how to unlock it. Okay, I'll go unlock the door, okay? <laughs> now, y'all want some. It has to pop out. That's, what, that's the thing. You don't have to pop it out. That's all right. I don't hold it against you. You just can't unlock the door with this off. We don't have complicated door locks here either. Okay, so let's keep going. So, okay. Now, what I mean, find what the two or three things. Well, there's two or three things that you can find with causality. The slope. The slope, write this down. The slope and the correlation are directly related. Slope and correlation are related. Don't put directly related, but related. Now, the correlation will only go from negative one to one. But your slope can be any number, right? It can be negative 15. It can be negative 32. It can be positive 101, okay? It can be 1 over 101, or it can be negative 5 over 25 or 26, okay? So your slope can be any number, but your correlation only goes from negative 1 to positive 1. Positive 1 being, yeah, there's correlation. Negative 1, there's negative correlation. You can have either. You can have one going up or you can have one going down, all right? Capiche? So you're gonna have some, you're gonna have some questions about slope as well as correlation, so get ready for that. That's about the algebra that I told you about. And you might wanna write some of these down. I only care about A, B, and E. Alpha, Bravo, and Echo. I only care about those because you're not gonna see C and D in this class. At least I don't think you are, unless it's a homework question or something. There's a positive correlation. A, write that down. A, you don't have to write those. You don't have to write those. Just A is positive correlation. B is negative correlation, and C is zero correlation. Now, you don't have to draw the dots. Just draw a line going left to right up. That's positive correlation. Left to right down is negative correlation. And a horizontal line is what? No correlation. Zero correlation. Because what's the slope of a horizontal line? Zero. Zero. Good job. Somebody remembered something. Well, the college football season sucked this weekend. I thought Penn State was going to do it. I was praying. I was hoping. But, of course, just like other teams in children's conferences, they pull it out the last, what, minute, a minute or two? Ohio State, mm -hmm. what did they do? Run a, didn't they just, I can't remember what they did, but they made a touchdown. I'm like, really? 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 They got their tails whooped the whole game. And then they come back in the last five minutes of the game and win. 
or the last quarter and win. <sighs> I can't stand things like that. I really cannot stand things like that because you don't know what they're going to do. You don't know what they're going to do. You don't bet $100 on teams like that. The ones you bet, no. <laughs> the ones you bet $100 on are ones like Alabama and Georgia just beat the crap out of this opponent. Just beat the crap out of them. That's the ones you bet on. What? Oh, Ohio State's going to win against anybody, except if they play a real team. Well, Penn State is always close. I hate Ohio State. I hate them. The reason I hate Ohio State is because they're in a, they're in an all children's conference. Okay, they're in an easy conference, and they get put in the top ten. No matter if they lose five of those games, they still get put in the top ten. Sucks. That's all right. All you can say is Ohio State will eventually play the SEC team, and they'll lose. That's all there is. Is uh, right now, that, but I, I am happy about Kentucky. I am happy about Kentucky because Kentucky is not going to be the whipping child of the SEC this this year. So I am happy about them. I don't think they'll beat a major team like Alabama. Oh no, they're not going to beat Georgia. I don't think Alabama can beat Georgia this year. I really don't. Mm -mm. I, I said they were going to win last year, not this year, because all of those running backs are back another year. And their line is bigger than ever. They're moving experience, but they're bigger than ever. I mean, you're talking about 320 pounds, average to 320 pounds. That's huge. So would I bet on it? No. I wouldn't bet on it. We're talking about correlation and causation, right? Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. I wouldn't bet on it. I wouldn't bet between Georgia and Alabama because they're going to play for the SEC. I don't see any team to you. I don't see any team that touches either one of them. Yeah, LSU might be in there if they can get past Ohio State in the polls, which would be unbelievable because Ohio State could lose like two games and they'd still be in the top five. But any other games y'all watch? South Carolina just really sucked. Huh? Yeah, at least I know they still. But I'm going to be honest with you. Listen, in order to win, it's just like cause, cause and effect. In order to win, you got to spend some money on a head coach. South Carolina didn't do that. Clemson didn't do that for two years. I meant for two coaches. After Danny Ford, they tried this guy. He sucked. And then they tried this guy, and he sucked. And... You can't coach a team by being mediocre, and that's all I'm going to say. Muschamp might be a nice guy, but you just don't sit on the sideline. Did y'all see old, uh, old uh, Jimbo Fisher go off on that, on, that, on that player that was being stupid, thug life? Yeah, grabbed his face mask and told him to shut the hell up. And then, of course, the media went crazy. Oh, he grabbed his face mask, grabbed his face mask. They knock the crap out of each other on a daggum field, okay? The coach grabs a face mask, which that's the least that's ever happened to me at that gum as a coach when I did something stupid like thug life, you know. And they fuss at the coach for grabbing a guy's face mask and fussing at him. And he didn't grab it, you know, like they do on the football field. He just grabbed it like stupid, you know. And they got, thank you. United States of pansies and snowflakes. We're turning. I hope one day we'll turn back into the United States of America instead of the United States of pansies and snowflakes. Twenty percent of our population is just buttercups, snowflakes, and I'm not going to talk. Now I'm going to give you this, and you can look at it. All right, you can look at it, but just look at it because there's no way I'm going to make you do this. You're talking about a tedious calculation. This is one of the most tedious calculations in this book, okay? I'm not going to make you do it, all right? That's why I show you how to find the correlation factor on your calculator as well as Excel. But I showed it to you so you can say, okay, I know the, I know the uh, formula for the correlation coefficient, R. Write that down. R, little, little R, is the correlation coefficient. 
And like I said, do you know an out in, I don't know, y'all wouldn't know this because you're not old like I am, but the, the old thing in trig was to teach you the, 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 the trigonometric table and you didn't have to learn it, but it was on, it was in the back of the book. Y'all remember what I told y'all about using your phone while you were in my class? Y'all remember that? Okay, that's a warning shot, okay? Don't insult my intelligence and don't be rude right to my face. You got it, everybody? That's a warning shot. Second time I'm going to embarrass you. Third time I'm going to ask you to leave. Am I using my phone up here? Okay, put the phones up because you're being rude. All right, we got that out of the way now. What was I talking about? I forgot. See, it gets me all out of wampus. All right, R is the R correlation coefficient. Make sure you know what that is. On your calculator, it'll show you on linear regression. If it doesn't show you, you have to go to the list, and then you have to go to display on or something like that. I'll have to show you. I'll have to look it up. I have to look it up every semester because I forget. It's a, it's, a, it's, it's a toggle that you can turn on, and it'll show you the correlation coefficient. If I don't, you need to Google show correlation coefficient on TI. Okay? Google that. Show correlation coefficient on TI, and it'll tell you to go to the list, and there's one little section, one little thing that you have to turn on, and it'll show you the correlation coefficient. Okay? And we'll go over that. So that that's enjoy enjoy having a calculator and Excel because if you had to do that, you know how we had to do X and X minus X bar and then X squared and then all that. That that makes this makes that look easy. This is very complicated, not complicated but tedious. Very easy math but very tedious, and I don't ask my students to do it. And there's the negative one to positive one. Negative one to positive one. We already talked about that. We'll talk about it more when we get to the graphs so you can actually see it. Okay, here's some examples. You don't have to draw the dots. Just draw the lines, okay? Uh, you've got positive correlation, positive correlation, moderate. When you start getting around a 45-degree angle, okay, I mean, 45-degree angle is positive. And the less, the, when you start leveling out, 45-degree angle, Okay, when you start leveling out, it starts to become moderate. And then, of course, you get none, and then it starts to negative or positive, whichever. Okay, so you got a, you got a positive correlation here. You got a positive correlation here. Starts to, starts to level out a little bit. Then it starts to go negative, <laughs> negative, moderate, none. And then, of course, that's nonlinear. We're not going to worry about that. All right, so if you understand slope, you understand correlation. Just remember that the correlation only goes from negative 1 to positive 1. So this one right here would be a what? Positive slope. Here's another example. There is the calculation for, and I'm not asking you to do that because to me that's ridiculous. Now, if you know how to use, and that's why Excel spreadsheets are so important. The more you move into your career, the more you're going to start seeing an Excel spreadsheet is going to be a number one tool wherever, what, whatever career you go into. Unless, of course, you go into an easy non-math or science degree, which, you know, you don't have to use the Excel, spree, Excel spreadsheet. But if you work in an office, you're still going to use it. Okay, so you could try to go the non-math, non-science route. But if you're going to work in an office, you're going to use Excel spreadsheet. So you're going to have to get used to it. That's why I tell people to take CPT 170. Okay? And I'm not going into that because it's a whole lot easier. So that's 4.1. And we're going to move on into the homework because I want to show you how to do it because all this stuff is... Okay, there's 4.2. Okay, here's where you're using the slope. Now... I'm going to get into the slope right here for you, and I'm just going to remind you of some things. What is the formula for slope? Anybody remember? Change in y over the change in what? X. So that means 
y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Have you given two points? 3, 4, 5, 8. Which way do we read? x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. Plug in one. Plug in show. So write that formula down, kind of jar your memory a little bit. There's one other formula in a point slope equation. Y minus Y sub 1 is equal to M times X minus X sub 1. And what, what equation is called? And what do you need to do it? What two things do you need to do the point slope equation? What two things do you need to do the point slope equation? The point and the what? Slope. That's why it's called the point slope equation. Spell mom backwards. Okay? So, they give you a line. Okay? Now, if they tell you to find an equation, they're telling you, when you see this right here, they're telling you that it's a, a what? A straight line. All right? Now, they might give you a graph and tell you to find the line of best fit. There's two different things. This is just a straight line. The line of best fit is what the Excel spreadsheet or the calculator will give you when you do the linear regression. That's what it will give you. Okay, so make sure you understand the difference between a line and the line of best fit or the line of regression. There is a difference. Okay, and they picked out two points. Do you have to pick out those two points? No. Why did they pick those two points? Just to show you pick any point. I'm usually going to pick these two points right here. Why? Because they're usually smaller what? In number, KISS method, keep it simple. Go with the smaller numbers because it's easier what? Math. I'm going to start bringing Mountain Dews to class. I'm going to start bringing a two-liter Mountain Dew, and I'm going to start pouring little shot glasses for these people that are <laughs> doing this yawning thing, okay? Got it? Mountain Dew or coffee or something. All right. So that's kind of a review. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that because, like I say, most of you have seen that, should have seen that. You should, you know, be able to do it. If you're not, if you can't, then you're a failure. This is negative slope. Now, this is the line. Okay, why is this not a line? This is a line of best fit or a line of regression, meaning that you're taking the, the points and you're finding the line that fits the best fit. You do not want to see the math behind this because you have to take the X and Y distance from each of those to that point right there to that point right there, to that point right there, to that point right here, and that point right there. And you have to do a line from, it's basically from that point and then back to this point and this point minus this point to that point. Okay? And you have to do that for each one of those points. Okay, so it's very tedious, and that's why you better, you know, sacrifice live animals to your calculator or to your Excel spreadsheet, because if you didn't have those two tools, then you would have to do this by hand, and that's a pain. Okay, and we're not going there, but I'll just show you. Next. And they might go through the math here, but you don't even want to see. There's the residual. See the gap right there? And then you have to find that distance and this distance and this distance. This is pretty much going to be the same. Well, this one is. It's pretty much the same. But if you have one right here, then it's not. So anyway. Yep. They're going to go through and show it, but we're not going to do it. Probably in the... Okay. There's another example. Okay, so I'm not going to go over that. Discard. Okay, now let's go to a problem. And 
These are the problems that you're going to see on the test. Besides the graphs and asking if this is positive or this is negative correlation or this is no correlation, we're going to actually do some and there's one or two problems on the test. So I'll pull up the handy dandy MyLabs Plus and we'll go to, I don't want to go to homework, let me go to chapter contents. 4.1, no, 4.2, and then study plan, okay, here's one right here, so I want you to write the problem down, so you'll have it in your notes, and then I'll go through and show you what the answers are through the Excel spreadsheet, you can write down you know, I know that I know that everybody in the real world uses Excel and District 5 sets you up with something that's not Excel, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Real world, not real world. Yeah, that's right. And uh, it's so stupid. Why prepare you to work in the real world? You know, why do that? Okay, the rest of the world uses Excel, so we're going to use this. No, because they don't want you to learn anything. The more stupid they keep you, the more it is, the more easy it is to control you. I'm not talking about high school, I'm talking about real world. That's why they don't teach you how to do taxes. That's why they don't teach you how to do checkbook, how to invest your money, and they don't teach you how to use the things that we're using in the real world. Yes? No, no. There you go. What? Now, see, they give you all those S of X and all that. We're not going to worry about that because your calculator will give you all that. I'll tell you what all that means. Don't worry about that. All you worry about is plotting the points and finding the best fit. And the calculator and the Excel spreadsheet will show you that. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the spreadsheet. There's my points. I just brought them over. I'm going to insert... Scatter plot, and there's a scatter plot. So now you just match that up with your, take your handy dandy, minimize, move it over. We know what does it look like. It's got a hump, it's got a hump, and then you got these two dots down here together. Look for those two dots. So we go back over, and there's the hump. <clears throat> there's the two dots down here. They're so close together you can't tell it. You have to blow it up a little bit. Still can't tell it. And now you start to see the two dots on top of each other. Okay? So A is your answer there. And this is a good test question because this is the type of question I would give you on a test. And then they're going to ask you for all the other stuff. All right? So you go back to the handy-dandy Excel spreadsheet. <clears throat> And you right-click on one of the dots. Right-click on the dots. Okay, so write that down. Right-click. And I'm just telling you this because if you're taking this test on a, on a common computer that has Excel on it, which is 99% of the computers that you use outside of academia, then you will hit right-click on the and hit Add Trend Line. So right click, oh, to, to do, you highlight the X and Y, and then you insert, and then you go to scatter plot. Then after you've drawn your graph, you right click on one of the dots, add trend line, and go down and hit display equation, display R squared. And there is your R factor. R squared. Somebody take the square root. I don't know why 
it gives you r squared. When most of your, most, most of all your math 120 books, math of all probability, they ask for r. So why does Excel give you r squared? I don't know. So somebody take the square root of 0.878 for me. And somebody write that down. What is the square root of 0.878? What is it? Okay, write that down. 0.94. Now, what is 0.94? What is it toward? Is it toward positive 1 or negative 1? Positive 1. So, therefore, there is a strong what? Correlation here. A strong correlation. <clears throat> now, what is the equation for that line? Well, there it is right there. Negative. 0.617x plus 6.529. Now, I want everybody to take their calculators. And those of you that don't have a TI, you can go to wabbit.emu on your, on your Android. You can't go on, I don't know what's on your, your iPhone. If you're, if you're on an iPhone, you'll have to pay like 10 times. But for the Android people, it's free. Okay. Go ahead and be punching that in. For your, uh, hold on just a second. Hi, Miss Barmore. Okay, can you see the board? You should be asked if, if you accept the presentation screen, you should be able to see my spreadsheet. Can you see it? Yes. Okay, good. All right, so I've just uh, basically, and we'll do another one here in a minute. If, if you type in, oh, the web at EMU, if you go to... Okay. If you go to, I'm going to pull it up for you. Some of you can, it's called Wabbit. EMU. I think it's Wabbit, EMU, dot EMU, or it's Wabbit. Go to your, um, if you're Android. If it's not Android, if you got one of the damn iPhones, I don't like them because my, my, my son and daughter has them and I can't stand them. Um, you'll have to go somewhere else look up TI-84 on iPhone and you'll have to pay like 20 bucks for it. Okay. But for the Android, you can go to webit.emu and you can actually download a TI-83, 84, 85, whatever you want to. Okay? So do that. All right. So when you type it in, Oh, gosh, I don't want to type it in. Somebody type it in, and what do you get when you go to linear regression? What do you get for the slope? I better do it. Participation is kind of lacking in this class. Let's see. Let's see if I can pull up T. Uh, nope. TI-83, TI-80. See the rabbit EMU? See the little bunny rabbit? Somebody give me the points because I don't feel like going back and forth. So I'm going to go to stat. No, not stat. Oh, yeah, yeah, stat. Edit. And somebody give me the X's. Six what? Six. Six again? Mm -hmm. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, give me the Y's. I'm sorry, what? 5.8. 5.8? 6.5. 6.5? 6.5. Okay. And now I go to stat. Then I'll calculate. 
dang old linear regression, and it will automatically go to L1 and L2, and then just go down and hit calculate. Now see, mine's not doing the R factor, and I gotta go, it's under, where is the button that you list? Where's the list button? I can't find it. Second stat, okay. When you go to the list button, you can actually find it, and I can't remember what it is, but it's something that you toggle on. I don't wanna say display, but it's in, it's in I can't, I'm just gonna have to find it for you. But like I say, Google what? It's what? Second what? Second zero. Yeah, catalog. There it is. Do you know what it's called? It's called either display or something to have to do with display. I can't remember. But anyway, I'll find it for you. I have to look it up every semester. But you go to it and you hit one minute. thought I saw it. I want to say it's display. No. I don't think it's no. It's it's a it's you'll have to Google R factor on TI. Show R factor on TI eighty whatever. And it'll tell you you go to the catalog. That's right, you go to the catalog and you go down to it and you hit it and then you heard turn it on or you hit able able not disable you hit able or something like that so anyway let's go back to it go to stat go to calculate go to linear regression and calculate and after you hit that it'll show up down here it'll say r is equal to blah 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 r squared is equal to does anybody have it already on your calculator? Okay. Well, let's Google it right quick because I know y'all won't do it because you have to do so much work. You have to, you know, click two or three buttons and it's a lot of work. So show R factor on TI. How do you show find a correlation? I found it. Here it is. Diagnostic on. Somebody go there and go go to diagnostic. Diagnostic. I always forget. I knew it started with a D. No, a display. Yeah, D. Diagnostic on. So let's go to the handy dandy calculator and go to second catalog and go to D and go to diagnostic on. There it is. Everybody see it? Yeah. yeah, that was a lot of work, wasn't it? Three buttons. Now go to second, stat. I'm sorry, stat, door. And go to linear regression. I'm just going all over the place. I have no idea. It's drugs. Linear. And now go to calculate. And there. There's the R factor. So now you know how to turn diagnostic up. Yeah, diagnostic. And let's check it against the spreadsheet. R is a R squared is equal to 0.878. There you go. Negative 6.17 and the y intercept is 6.529. So I'm sorry. That's pretty easy. Okay? So make sure you can make sure you can do that and uh Let's do another one right quick. I know some of y'all are going to hysterics, but you'll be all right. Let's go back to the homework, and let's click on another one. And since I like that one, let's go back and do this one. No, let's do this one. All right, you do that one. Just put it in your notes. I mean, write, just write the chart down. You don't have to write down all the other stuff. Because we're going to, anytime we do one of these from now on, today and tomorrow, we're going to do everything. We're going to do the graph. We're going to do the slope. 
I meant the, the equation, and we're going to do the R factor. Those three things. So make sure you can do all three of those on your calculator or the spreadsheet. I don't care what the directions say. Because that's what I'll ask you about. Caprende? Mm -hmm. And we need to stop in about in seven minutes because I need to download this video because that teacher comes in. She just stands here and gets on my nerves. Well, well, I don't. Uh, to me, it's like she's standing there, and I don't like it. I have to download my my uh, what you call it, my video that y'all don't use on YouTube. She just stands right there, and then she starts complaining about her life or complaining about school, huh? I know it is. You know who I'm talking about? Huh? It's another math teacher. I don't she may. I don't know. Oh, Miss Wu? Well, I evaluated her, and the language barrier is not that bad. She covers the material on the board. To where that overcomes the language barrier. Yeah. All you have to do is read the material off the board. So that's kind of like an excuse. They said when they do their homework there, like, they have to, like, teach themselves. Yeah. Hard. Well, tell them to go to my YouTube. That's what I said. Oh, you already told them? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, when I evaluated her, there were several people. Are you Hubert? I was wondering if that's probably your friends. Because they knew my name. They were saying, are you Hubert? I'm, yeah. Okay. Well, it's not easy. It's just I covered the material. I mean, I'm not covering anything different from what she's covering. So it doesn't, you know, it. You know, when I was when I was at Southwood, okay, the hood, I know. When I was at Southwood, they had chains on the doors when I was there. I have to tell you about Southwood. Because Southwood, when I was there, was not what it is now. There was covers over the windows. Really? Yeah. We could not see outside. They covered the windows with these louvers, louvers, whatever you call them. And all you could see was right down, and there was no grass. Because it was dirt. Okay? And all you could see, you could see straight down, and all you could see was that dirt. They had louvers on all the doors. It was like a prison. And they had chains. This is no joke. They had chains on all the double doors except for the front two doors and the back two doors. So if you had a fire in there, if you were lucky, you got out of the front or the back door. Oh, my gosh, it was awful. I tell you, I went to Varennes, I went to Southwood, and I went to Westside. And Southwood, to me, was like a prison. It was a prison. I was so glad to get out of that school. It was awful. So if any of you went to Southwood, it's nothing like it was. Nothing. Oh, it was just okay. I mean, I was a football player. It was fun. Yeah. What? Because we had, back then, you had a lot of people that cut, you know, and they would just leave. And they would go, and they would just go to, you know, they would just leave. They would just leave. So they, so a lot of the double doors, they locked with chains, so you couldn't get out. So you couldn't what? If they did that, <laughs> well, back then they didn't care, you know. Back then it wasn't as snowflakey and buttercup as it is now. Now you you put a chain on the door and oh my God, everybody's called, you know. So anyway, I'll shut up. I don't know yeah. how we... Yeah, parent-teacher <laughs> conference. There's two kinds of parents now. There's well, three kinds. There's the parents that let you live your life. There's the helicopter parents. And then now, now there's the lawnmower parents. The lawnmower parents. They want to make everything easy for their children. That way, when they get in real life, if there's somebody there to make everything easy for you. No. My children... Why can't you be a helicopter parent? Because you have to graduate eventually. And you have to face the real world. So that's why I'm hard on both of them. So. 
Yeah, my children are not snowflakes by any means. If they are, I'll beat the crap out of them. It's a joke. It's a joke. Ha ha ha. I have to say it's a joke because nobody has a freaking personality in it. Sense of humor now. You brush up against somebody in a sexual harassment. And they wait till 30 years to bring it, 36 years to bring it up to the forefront. All right, so here we go. I'm going to now look at this, and you've got, I don't care about A, B, C, and D. I care about X and Y. Insert, here we go. Insert, scatter plot. And there it is. I'm going to right click. Going to say add trend line, and I'm going to hit display and R squared. And somebody take the square root of 9.901 for me. Point what? So it's got a good correlation. Is there causality here? This is a very, okay, look, look at what this is. Weight of your car and miles per what? Miles per gallon, Hubert. Thank you, class. This question would be on any standardized test that you take. This question would be on any test in here that you take because it is what you see all the time on any standardized test because it's one of the best examples of causality there is that, that you can relate to besides drinking too much and having pee. All right, and they ain't gonna put that on the test because somebody be offended by it. All right, so there you go. So make sure you can do these two questions, and that's really all I'm gonna ask you out of 4.1 and 4.2, except for the that's negative correlation. This is a positive correlation. That's no correlation. Okay, comprende? Okay, let me stop the.